Now, are you guys ready for the coolest find in the junk business? This is the best find I've found in a long time, and you won't believe what it is. Check it out. It is so damn cool. Some of the viewers might not like it, but I love it. Check it out. This bad boy came from Pakistan. They actually shot it out of the back of a pickup truck. It was on top of the pile. And remember, closed mouths don't get fed. I asked the customer, does this go too? She says, no, but if you want it, you can take it. And I bet you, I guarantee you, this is worth a lot of money. So leave a comment down below what you guys think this is worth. This is one hell of a junk find. Welcome to the channel. On this channel, we dive deep into the world of trash, from junk finds to hoarder houses. And we're your hosts. I'm Matt. I'm Jojo, and we're your favorite trash talkers and business motivators. On this channel, we're all about turning trash into cash. Every day in the junk world, it's like a modern day treasure hunt. So if you want to get inspired, motivated, learn how to make some extra cash, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you don't know who we are, we're Sonoma Strongholding and Junk Removal. And we started this business as a side hustle with a beat up pickup truck and turned it into a corporation. So if you want to learn more about that, sit back, relax, and let's talk some trash. Now let's get this money. Now, welcome back to the channel. And today we got another good one for you. And we're still on a mission to make $50,000 off stuff that we find in the trash business and resell before the year ends. And right now we're at $3,816, which ain't that bad, Jojo. That's not bad, but we still have some work to do. You are coming along with us. We have quite a few jobs on the list today. And one of them is a storage unit clean out. So you know we're gonna find some stuff there. Now here's a few items that we sold recently. Check it out. And I'm not gonna lie, me and the JoJo been slacking a little bit on selling stuff, but that's okay. We took a vacation last week. We went out to LA, met up with a bunch of junk haulers from the West Coast for Andrew Thompson's autopilot release CRM party. And it was off the hook, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, and it was great. We met so many great and interesting people that are doing what we do. Um, you know what? You cannot put a price tag on knowledge. And whenever you can network with other people, you will learn stuff that you'll take away and keep forever. So Jojo, you ready to get this money? Yeah, let's get this day started. And actually I'm excited because I thought it was going to be raining today and we were going to be working in the rain but it's actually starting off to be quite a pretty morning. So make sure you smash that like button and let's get out of here. So we are at the first job of the day and this is for a repeat customer and they just have a few items. <laughs> successful and grow your business, you want to become a celebrity in your area. And how do you do that? Well, you post on social media all the time, everywhere, every single day. You want people to recognize you when they see you and know exactly what you do. So we are at the next job of the day and they just have a few items inside the storage unit and let's see if there's anything in there that we can resell. everybody doing today it's Julio with Sonoma Strong Hauling and I'm actually at the second job right now in Santa Rosa California right next to the old orchard supply and I'm actually doing a small pickup for a repeat customer that does the landscaping around here so let me go ahead and show you guys the job now here is a junk removal tip this may look like garbage to you but Whenever you see legs like this that are slanted outward, this is a retro dresser and you can get some really good money for these 
kinds of items. And so when we first seen it, we thought, oh, it doesn't look like much. But then when we pulled it out, we realized, oh, yeah, we could totally sell this for good money. And here is a little, you know, little futon. We could get a little bit of money for that. And check out some of the other things we found. I love this brand new, never been used, all kinds of picture frames. And we have a Panasonic TV and it is a good size. It came with the cord and the remote control. So we could put this on Facebook Marketplace and sell it really fast. And we also came across, this is a chair massager and it has the cord, it works, you turn it on, feels great. And I will probably use this a few times, but I'll end up putting it on Facebook Marketplace too. Hey Matt, what are you doing? Relaxing, getting a massage. I'm gonna let the Julio knock the jobs out, Joe. Joe, why chill here at the house? Can you get some coffee made for me? I'm trying to relax. So now we're gonna head out and meet Julio at the other job. Hey guys, so how you guys doing again? It's Julio. And we're actually on our third job right now and it's located in Rona Park, California. And I'm actually gonna get started. I did the estimate for this job on Monday. We actually locked it in for today, for Wednesday. And uh, Matt and Jojo will be coming over here to help me shortly. They actually went to go drop something off at their house, but they'll be working their way back over here to help me with these uh, load and a half to two loads. And um, let me go ahead and show you guys what we're dealing with right here in Rona Park, California. Just a bunch of bags, old boxes, cardboard boxes. <laughs> big pile i'm a little nervous nah 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 i'm not nervous we got this here at sonoma strong hauling we'll knock it out so backup is here to save the day and holy crap julio we got one hell of a job over here check this out <laughs> you were not playing were you nah and all this stuff like the bags kind of ripped open so it's like some of this stuff's been here just sitting here for like it seems like for a long time and they added more, she even said that they added more. So this wasn't, oh, this wasn't here on Monday. They added quite a bit. <laughs> Let's get to work. <laughs> Wanted to be a trash hauler, junk baller. So check out the find of the day. Sitting right there in the pile. This is definitely an eBay item. I'm actually out of mine at the house. Oh, hell no, Jojo. <laughs> we are not taking that home. <laughs> Here's a junk removal tip. So the Julio's been going out, bidding jobs, knocking jobs out himself, and he's been doing a killer job at that. But on this job, he got, we call it the woo wop. He thought the bags weren't that bad. And I get it, he probably showed up, looked at the pile, but didn't dig through the pile. And once he dug through the pile, guess what? Womp, 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 Jojo. It is nasty, and the Julio sounds more like me every single day because what he told me, JoJo, was we should have charged more money. Yeah, so definitely when you are bidding jobs, just because the top looks fine and looks like it might be easy, you know, just toss some bags in the back of your truck. As the pile goes down and down and you get deeper and deeper, you come across older bags that are going to rip, and much older garbage and trash that is super smelly. So rats have gotten into it, the bags are torn up, and it gets stinkier the deeper you go. And yep, that is why you charge more money for these type of jobs. 
And that's just part of the trash business. It's not always finding cool stuff. Sometimes you gotta get in there and get in those nasty, dirty jobs that smell like crap, like shit, and just get them done. Yep, and we're gonna be back for round two. And JoJo, let me tell you, spring is here early, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> It's prediction time, prediction time. So I'm gonna predict that the load that I have in my truck is $105. Matt and Jojo took their small load to Santa Rosa. But my question to you, Matt and the Jojo is, what do you guys think the load price is in my truck right now? Let me know guys. So I'm gonna say the Julio's load is gonna be at least 120. I think he's way off. Oh, really? I was going to say 85. What's in his truck that's so heavy? I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. So we are right here in Petaluma. Uh, a little busy. Let's just see how long this takes. We might be here for about 10, 15, 20 minutes, though. We're about to find out, guys. So it's a beautiful day out here in uh, Sonoma County. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to give the prediction of the winter outside. So it wasn't me. It wasn't the mat. It was the JoJo, so it came out to $76.50. JoJo won, me and Matt suck. <laughs> we gotta do better next time, Matt. <laughs> We are back for round two. The Julio and the Jojo are over here scared of a damn rat. I am not scared of the rat. And I told him I'll Ozzy Osbourne that baby <laughs> and bite that sucker right in half. I guarantee you if Matt seen a rat, he would scream and run like a little girl. <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> Jojo. Damn, put me on blast like that. You don't like critters. I used to raise rats. <laughs> Just so you guys know, she kills all the spiders in the house. Not Mr. <laughs> Mad Vic. I'm a little scared. Just a little bit. You could just take that right there. Pick it up. Pick they're, it up. they're trying to set me up right now. <laughs> <laughs> really? You want to grab this yeah, one? Yeah, that here? other thing needs to go too. You want to grab this this thing over here? <laughs> this one right there. You want the, the ball dryer? Want to grab it? Oh, there's another one over there? Yeah. Is there one? No, yeah. I think it took off. Those two things I'm gonna prove it to the viewers. I ain't scared. I think it's right behind the leg. Did you pull it? Look, yeah, I tried to behind it. Look, right there. Oh, yeah, he's, he's playing with you. He said hi to you. He's playing with you. That's so he's funny. He's playing hide and go seek, dude. Oh, there he is, right there. He's somewhere behind there. <clears throat> you are right away. Yeah. Nuggy. Stuff stinks. <laughs> 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 Told you I ain't scared. What's up, buddy? You don't need to call me boss no more. Just call me your daddy. <laughs> Yo, daddy, your biological father. Papa. 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 <laughs> so we are done with that job, and you know it's a nasty job when you have to throw your gloves away when you are done. So Julio went to dump that load, and Matt and I have another bid today. And I'm not trying to sound negative, but in this neighborhood right here, normally they don't go with our price. They're pretty cheap. And that's a good junk removal tip or any business that you have. Know who your audience is and target that area. So usually we will target the more affluent areas because they have the money to spend on a luxury service like junk removal. <laughs>
Mr. Mavic was wrong. We locked it in. So, third job is complete. I have another full load and back in my truck right now. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, having two trucks makes the days go by so much more smoother and so much easier because we bring both trucks, boom, boom, one full load, one full load of mine, one full load of Matt's, it makes it so much easier. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys either. When I saw all those rats coming out of that pile, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I kind of started getting scared. I thought I had to fight against these rats calling the Master Splinter from the Ninja Turtles. And I told Matt, get the god dang barbecue ready because we're about to have some rat tacos. <laughs> I'm just playing. No, I'm rolling solo to Petaluma. Matt and Jojo are actually gonna go to Santa Rosa to go give an estimate for the for the fourth job for today. But my real question is this, what is the prediction of the dump fee? Mine, I'm gonna say 85. How about Matt and Jojo? What's your guys' prediction of the dump fee? Julio, don't worry. I got the Traeger heating up right now. So bring those bad boys to the house later on. And my prediction of the dump fee is gonna be 103. Mine is gonna be 68. Now the real question, Jojo, do we have barbecue sauce at the house? Yes, we do. Today's gonna be a good day then. Okay, so you guys wanna know who is the winner of the dump feast today? It wasn't the Julio, it wasn't the Matt, it was the Jojo again. God dang, two for two, and me and Matt are 0 for two. Man, we're way off, what the heck is going on? Well. Matt said it, I'm going to his house tonight. I'm going to pick up my wife and my kids. I'll bring the buffalo sauce and we're going to be cooking those bad boys up. And man, it's a beautiful day out today right here in Sonoma County. But you know, the crazy part is the next three days, it's going to be raining. But you know what we're going to be doing? Working. So let's get this money, guys. Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow. You guys have a great day and let's go. Just like that, we're done for the day. And Jojo, let's see what's in box number one. All right, let's check it out. And looky, looky what I received. Are you a serious? A Wii game. A Wii game with a Wii system with video games. A Nintendo 3DS. This is a different system right here. There might be something else. Check that out. Uh, coming on up, eBay item. Yeah, I'll look all through here. Got a little Boy Scout car. Call that trash, but look at that. We can yeah. sling that on eBay for sure. He was in Boy Scouts of America, and he's got some badges there. So what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Was Mr. Matt Vick a Boy Scout back in the day? Leave it in the comments. Check that out, it's an eBay item for sure, JoJo. Ah. The Wii system, we should be able to get at least 40 bucks for. This video game right here, I'm not sure, but I'll look it up. And what else is in there, JoJo? Some dolls. Beanie Babies. Beanie Babies. Hey, sometimes Beanie Babies are worth some money. So let's check box number two out. Let's see what it is. What the hell is this, JoJo? Dragons RPG dice set. Oh, yeah. That's why I didn't want to throw the box away because it had um, it has the game stuff for like Dungeons and Dragons and stuff. So I'm going to look through here for sure. And let's see what's in this box right here. Womp, 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 womp. Nothing but, let's see. Nope. A little charger. A little phone charger. And then over here, what do we have? A bunch of books I see. That's brand new, a little pop filter. If Mr. Matt Vick wants to start making music again, you never know. Might drop my LP pretty soon. We can at least get 20 to 30 bucks for that on eBay. And you got a yeah, keyboard. Man. Keyboards go on eBay for sure. Yeah. Put that on eBay. Damn, we coming up today. Not sure what the heck that is. So here's another great find. It is the Washington Quarters State Commemorative. And they actually have quite a few quarters in here. They have them from Delaware, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, and uh, New York, Rhode Island. So they started a collection. They didn't quite finish, but 
That's very interesting. Well, anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure you smash that like button. And we'll be digging through all this stuff in front of the house for a little bit longer. And, uh, yeah. And don't forget, we love all you guys. And we'll catch you on the next one. Got some stuff in it.